பாடசாலை டாட் நெட் யூடியூப் சேனலை இது வரைக்கும் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணலன்னா இந்த சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பட்டனை கிளிக் பண்ணிங்க கூடவே இந்த பெல் பட்டனையும் கிளிக் பண்ணிங்க உங்களுக்கான அப்டேட்ஸ் உடனுக்குடன் கிடைச்சிடும்
hydrogen, it is not alkali metals and it is not halogen metal. Why it is not alkali, why it is not a halogen compound? Because hydrogen is a followed by both for alkali metals properties and alkali, uh, alkali metals properties and a halogen elements property. So hydrogen is a special element. Special elements. Okay students, you tell me which element is atomic number 1. That's very good. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is a first element. It is, a, you know, students, hydrogen is alkali or uh, halogen compounds? Yes. It is not alkali. It is not halogen compounds. Why it is not alkali? Why it is a halogen compounds? Yes. Very nice. Because it followed by both properties of alkali and uh, halogen compounds. Then, next is, see, listen. Hydrogen is a present in the first elements. It is followed by two properties. So what are the properties or differ in alkali elements and the halogen elements? Listen students. The first one is Henry Cavendish. Henry Cavendish was introduced by the hydrogen. Henry Cavendish was introduced by hydrogen. Who was introduced by the hydrogen? Yes, Henry Cavendish was introduced by the hydrogen. Now, you know students, hydrogen is, you know, ionization energy. Yes, very good. What is ionization energy? How much energy is required to remove electron from the outermost gaseous atom is known as ionization energy. Here, alkali metals, all the alkali metals, elect, um, ionization energy rate is almost alkali, that is ionization energy of alkali metals 377 to 520 kcal per mole. Kcal per mole. Then, but the hydrogen, but the hydrogen is 1,314 kilo cal per mole. Kilo cal per mole. So, large values are differ from the alkali metals. So, definitely hydrogen is not alkali metals. The next one is electron affinity value. You know electron affinity, how much energy is released when accepts of one electron from the other elements that is called as electron affinity. See here also, you look at here, hydrogen is accept one electron, accept one electron. See this is what is that hydrogen molecule is accept one electron, it will become the ion. So H minus, H minus, now this value is del H equal to plus 364 kilo cal per mole. Kilo cal per mole. The next is, if you take water, the uh, sorry, uh, sorry, if you take halogen, the half Br2, it is accept one electron, it will become Br minus. Now the del H value is minus 55 kilo cal per mole. Kilo cal per mole. Now, see, look at the value students. The hydrogen, the electron affinity value is three, uh, 364. But uh, halogens is minus 50 cal per mole. So, lot of values are different from the uh, halogens. So, hydrogen is not for halogen. The next is hydrogen. See, hydrogen are introduced, that is hydrogen produced three isotopes. Three isotopes. Isotope. What is isotope? Same atomic number and same element. Same element but So, hydrogen also produced three type of isotopes. What is isotope? Same atomic number and same element but it differs only in mass number. Now, what is the first isotope? Is protium. What is that? Protium. Protium. 
is this protium is simply denoted as H. Then second one is deuterium 1H2. Deuterium. The deuterium is simply denoted as D2. D2. Then what about H? S. 1H3. What is that? Tritium. Tritium is T13. These are the three isotopes of hydrogen elements. You know, protium is stable. Protium is stable. Deuterium is also stable. And tritium is unstable because tritium is radioactive isotope. Radioactive isotope. Listen, the protium is available in 99.95% 99.95% and deuterium is 0.05% only then tritium is a trace amount this is amount now see you don't know isotope what is isotope s same atomic number and same element but differ only in the mass. It's called as what is that? Isotope. Uh, hydrogen was produced by how many isotopes? That's very good. Three isotopes. Three isotopes. Same. It's 99.95%. Um, next is deuterium 0.05%. Tritium is traces amount. So hydrogen is third abundance earth elements. Third abundance earth elements. Which is the first abundance earth element? Oxygen. What is that? Oxygen. And the second one is uh, hydrogen is a second abundance element because it is available at 99.5%. The next is different type of hydrogens. What are the different type of hydrogen? Para hydrogen and ortho hydrogen. What is that? Para hydrogen and ortho hydrogen. What is para and what is uh, ortho? See, listen, hydrogen having only one proton, one proton and zero, one proton, zero neutron. So, protium or hydrogen is having one proton, proton, one neutron, zero. Deuterium, deuterium is one proton and one neutron. The tritium is one, three, one proton is one. The neutron, proton is two, neutron is one. Proton is one, or proton two, and neutron is one. The next is ortho para hydrogen. Ortho para hydrogen is a diffuse only in a spin. What is spin, sir? How it rotates? It is rotated in the high spin. That means, high spin means it is a high spin. And the other one is low spin. This is low spin. High spin means, see, nuclei is a rotate in high spin direction. High spin direction. That is proton and neutrons is a rotate in high spin direction means that is called as ortho. What is that? And second one is nucleus and proton. That means nucleus and protons are rotate in high spin and low spin. That means what is that? Opposite direction. It's what is that? Para hydrogen. Para hydrogen. See, ortho hydrogen is rotates only in high spin. So para magnetic. Para magnetic. Para hydrogen is a rotates in opposite spin. One is high spin and another one is low spin. One is high spin and another one is low spin. So magnetic moment is zero. Magnetic moment is zero. Why its magnetic moment is zero? Yes, very good. Because it is spin value is a high spin and low spin. So high spin is compensated with the low spin. So we will get zero. So definitely it has a magnetic moment is zero value. So the next is what is the difference between what is the boiling point 
and a melting point. See, ortho hydrogen, ortho hydrogen is available in seventy five percent, and para hydrogen is available in twenty five percent at room temperature. Room temperature. In case of the temperature will be increases. Temperature is increases. Ortho value. Ortho hydrogen value is decrease, but para hydrogen value is increase. Then stability also. What is that? Stability. Stability also. Uh, at room temperature, ortho hydrogen is more stable than para hydrogen. Stability is more stable. Ortho hydrogen than para hydrogen. This type of questions in the previous year asking in a NEET question paper. Please note it the uh, note the point students. Ortho hydrogen is more stable than para hydrogen when at a room temperature. Okay. The next is melting point and boiling point. Melting point and boiling point. Listen now. <coughs> para hydrogen. Let us what is that? Para hydrogen. Take para hydrogen. And ortho hydrogen. Para hydrogen is boiling point. First, take boiling point twenty point two six Kelvin. Twenty point two six Kelvin. And ortho hydrogen is thirteen point nine Kelvin. This is what is that? Boiling, boiling, and melting point. Melting. See what is the difference between para and ortho hydrogens of melting point. Melting point is very different. Thirteen point eight. Thirteen point eight. So first us para thirteen point eight Kelvin and ortho thirteen point nine. So these are the difference between ortho and para hydrogen. Ortho and para hydrogen. Are not a students? Okay, listen. Summary. Now, what is hydrogen? That is a quick summary. Just please, all of you listen. Listen. First, yes. Hydrogen. Who was introduced the hydrogen? Yes. Lavoisier. Who is here. Who's the Lavoisier? Father of chemistry. He was here. Father of chemistry. Then, who was discovered hydrogen? Henry Cavendish. Then, hydrogen is a present in the middle of the position in periodic table. Why it is a present in the middle of the periodic table? Hydrogen is a followed by alkali metal properties and a halogen properties. So it is a special element. Hydrogen having only for proton, not neutron. So neutron less element. This is a second most abundant earth crust element. Second most. Yes, second most abundance earth crust element. The next is uh, next is isotopes. It is produced by the isotopes. Isotopes. What are the three types of isotopes? Yes, protium, deuterium, and tritium. Protium, deuterium, tritium. Then here, which isotope are unstable? Which is unstable? Yes, good. Tritium. Why tritium is unstable? It is a radioactive element. Radioactive element. The next is different type of hydrogens. The different type of hydrogen is a ortho hydrogen and para hydrogen. What is a ortho hydrogen? The spin of nuclei and the protons are in a same direction. Is known as what is that? Ortho hydrogen. In different direction is known as para hydrogen. That is the magnetic moment of ortho hydrogen is a para magnetic. But a para hydrogen is yes, magnetic moment is zero. Very good. Why is zero? In opposite spin direction. So it is what is that? Zero. Okay. The next is already you are noted in boiling point and melting point students. Okay. Now the quick summary is over. Okay, students. Thank you.